There's more over there too. Right before he cast it in the second time, there's another one that popped the top. size but again nothing of size but real good sign that they're starting to move in I think the trick here is I took a took a page from my buddy 609 fishing and I uh, I dropped the float. And, uh, I'm just casting in two. Looks like a pile of them. And I just kind of jigged. I've had four or five grab onto it, but that one fully committed. And he was a really good size. Definitely a slab crappie. Crappie, <laughs> this guy did. All right, I'm using that shad bowl from uh, Strike King. Just a small crappie magnet jig head, and uh, I'm putting some liquid mayhem on it. I'm noticing, uh, compared to when you're bobber fishing, uh, this you really gotta let him kind of get it. Definitely set into them. So, I'm just casting out and chicken. And as I'm uh, working it up, it's pretty light. So, as soon as I feel the weight, I'm kind of wiggling a little bit, making sure it really gets it in there. So, we really let him get at that one. And then, uh, get it away from the draw. little guy so when these buck bass that I caught earlier and these crappies start moving and that means uh, at least from what I've noticed that the river is gonna start coming alive here Look at that fat, sad little sucker. Again, as 609 fishing would say, jumbo. Freaking tiger guy. I think I got him in this corner. There's a fawn and it's sunny, so. Looks like it's another 
there's some right there. Oh, there's some right there. So we switch baits, we switch to the uh, like a little Bobby Garland kind of minnow, a little less bolt to it. We're going to see if uh, maybe that'll help. Um, but it's been a blast so far. We're at largemouth, black crappie, yellow perch. Um, there's a little group. They're not big ones, uh, but some of these crappie are. Let me preface that. And uh, that jumbo yellow perch. So they're in here. They're kind of stacked all along this wall, kind of sunny. plan on doing this stuff, getting yourself a good ultralight. Not only helps you cast better, but it makes them a blast. fish healthy Ooh, whatever that was that had some size to it Tiny, tiny, tiny. Like I said, they're super fun on an ultralight, though. This might be a bass. Oh, here's a pretty good crowd here. Gut on him. Man, we started off. Man, we started off really slow. Um, honestly, when I come out, normally I'm spinning around here going for bass, uh, so I hit that really hard. Um, but I was able to pick up those two bass on normal bass gear. Um, and then I started feeling nibbles at the, the worm when I got back here, so it's kind of what triggered for me to shift to some of the lighter gear. So we're on again. Oh, he's all, I dropped it. Hope he's still on.
notice that. Oh, we're on. Trying to reset. literally just looking at the water. This guy came up. here I think for about an hour it's been nonstop. a couple bass a lot of crappie and even a yellow bird so definitely aren't monsters but man they are fun and they're uh, really hard to leave to, like go find other fish nobody else do that like I literally just love catching fish you know what I mean